Him and his best friend had the same name and people would call them this name squared. They were f***ing the whole time. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. Move to me, we swap numbers. Oh, Did you speak? To... Baby, he has a girlfriend. Do you know what? Not gonna lie, I saw that. I don't know what I give. They'll be like, oh, you look like you taste good. I'm like, pause. And he used to send it to me every morning. What? Sister, I want to pick back up where we left. Let's do it. The last time I saw you was Dirty December Ghana. by Ghana. And I never spoke about Ghana. First of all, how was it for you? Wait, you didn't speak about Ghana on the pod. On the pod, I, I think at this point when I filmed with AP, I hadn't gone. Yes, it was. It was very came. impromptu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I saw all you lot out there with uh, <laughs> topicals, tropicals, yes, topicals, topicals. Shout and out I thought, topicals every time. I said, nah, I feel left out. I need to book a flight. And I literally, did the right thing. two days before, I went to I, I went mean, to I put my flight three days before I was flying out, so it's not that different. Three days before? Three days before. I from London? From London. Ah. I was hosting Christmas with my parents. Per. And I remember calling them on New Year's Eve, like on Christmas Eve, like, oh, um, by the way, I am flying out on the 27th. <laughs> so I'll meet you guys, because we usually go to um, up north to visit my brother, like my niece, my sister-in-law. So I was like, I'll meet you guys up north. When I land, I'll come, blah, blah. So they were like, okay, cool. So you, you did Nigeria last year, but you did it Easter. Yeah, I did Lagos in April. I did Accra in December. So you know, you you know the two experiences. How would you say it differs? What was it for you? Listen, I love Ghana, uh-huh. but I think that's because I'm a I'm fundamentally very chill, babe. Yeah. Like when I go out, I like to be in my trainers. I like to have a good time. Like I like to get lit. Mm-hmm. And the difference for me, and not that you can't do that in Lagos, obviously, but I feel like Lagos babes are like very like heels bougie yeah bougie your things, baddest defo. outfit like your baddest look whereas with Accra, like the last time we went before we went last year it was very like chill mm-hmm. like your denim shorts trainers like it's very much slippers like yeah. very, was it? someone was like oh Accra's like shoreditch and lagos is like mayfair okay i can see that i, I think can see that the, but when i saw you in Accra, i feel like <laughs> guys i turned around and Joyce is in the section. I was like, oh my yeah. God. Everybody's like, wait, hold on now. I thought she was in Nigeria. All of you nah, came. I actually wanted to go to Lagos first. But when I was like calling my people, I was calling around. Everyone was saying they were going to Cape Town or they were going to Accra. They were yeah. like, don't even bother coming to Lagos now. This was after Christmas because yeah. everyone will be gone. Facts. So I literally came because Lagos started getting a bit quiet. Yeah. So obviously I was you know, chilling with some people from London. Yeah. Martin was there. Oh, yeah. He was also in Accra. Yeah, and he told me, he's like, I'm going to Ghana. Yeah. And I was like, listen, one yeah. thing about me, I <laughs> succumb to peer pressure easily. I love a good time. Listen, so I said, okay, cool. Then DLT did their one in Nigeria. Yeah. And they said, okay, we've got one in Ghana. And I said, I'm sorry, I've been sold. Two. They had two in they Ghana, had, yeah. And they both popped. I came to the second one. Oh, that DLT, That was the DLT, by the way, that we all were in the under eye patches in the club. You that. lot really gave them good PR, you know. But they came prepared because obviously we just all wore it. Mm-hmm. But then Alamade had them in with her. So people yeah, come up to me. Yeah, she gave it to me. Yeah, yeah she people were like, oh my God, where'd you get them from? And she had them all like ready to hand out. I said, yeah. She's like, I've got a gift for you. And I was like, girl, what is it? Christmas <laughs> gift? And she was like, eye patches. And I was like, okay, that's a bit anticlimactic. But thank you. <laughs> like anticlimactic. But I'm thank done. you. Said, but I'm honestly. Expecting- uh, yeah, when someone says, I have a gift for you, I thought, I said, like, what you trying to give me a contract, girl? Like, what you I'm trying to give it's, me? I mean, <laughs> nah, but no, I, no, honestly, I loved it, though. Yeah. I loved it, and I have used them, and I think they're absolutely they're amazing. Yeah. And they look so cool. They look cool. I've been seeing everyone, like, it's almost like a part of a gang now. No, it's like, given very much, like, um, you know when you see, like, a, I would kind of say, like, like, well, you know, with Mel, yeah, I feel like people love Mel. So if she's like wearing boots, mm-hmm. you want to get the you want to get the boots, yeah. Like Regina George, like Period. oh, Regina George did that, so I want to do it. It that was definitely kind of, was because yeah, that kind of vibe. Since that trip, I've been seeing everybody not just Everywhere. wearing the eye patches, but taking it. Like you need to know yeah, that I, I wore also that. Yeah. wore the patch. <laughs> I wore the patch, but it's not enough can to I just, just wear say, it. Gone. Ghana was so good. Ghana was, oh, guys, it was amazing. Do you know what my friends and I were saying? We were like, usually when you see like a vibe on socials, it's either that, oh, it was the same amount of litness in real life, mm-hmm. or maybe it looked a bit more lit on socials. Mm-hmm. Ghana, girl. <laughs> 
not the drink falling on my chest. Ghana is the f- one of the few occasions where it was actually more fun yeah. than it looked. It was amazing. It was wow, guys. First of all, I was feeling so chocolate. I felt like a like you know like I love darling. I love the dark skin. Yeah the dark skinness of Ghanaian people. So when I stepped in, I felt like yeah. I could really be, I, oh my God, I bought a bracelet that from the has, market. from the market yeah. that has my Ghanaian weekday name on it. Oh wait, what's your, I should have found my Mine now. is Abena. Is it Abena or Abena or something? Because I was born yeah. on a Tuesday. So it has one side wait, Tuesday. Wait, I think so was I. Are you Abena too? Or a Monday. Girl, which one? Oh no. Pick, because you can only have one I name. I think it's a Monday. Anyways, I'm born on a Tuesday, so my Ghanaian name is Abena. Wow. So I really came in feeling like an Abena. Like yeah! I was feeling my- She said, I'm with my I was people. feeling myself. It this was This is my roots. The men were looking incredible. Let me the think vibe- about the men, because I feel oh. like people, do you know what it is? People always <laughs> ask about guys. Yeah. When we go on these party holidays, people always say, oh, you know, like what the guys saying, what the guys. But I feel like my issue is I love familiarity. Mm-hmm. So I'm always, even in the section, I feel like you, even you left the section, people do a little, little walkabout. I'm not leaving this section. You stay to where you now. I stay where, I, so actually I did meet a guy that night. But okay, it was like, DLT night. Yeah, but it was like, uh, he was friends with someone I knew. And then the person I knew was like, oh, this is my boy. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. Um, even someone else is like, it's usually a friend intro. But you know what? Can I just say, I've clocked the game and I feel like friend intros are the best way to meet guys. I'm 100. sorry. We're not, like when you try to meet a guy, is it cold? Cold calling. Cold, yeah, no. It doesn't work. Because you can't do a CRB. You can't do the CRB. Why does everyone hate you? Why do all your exes think you're a demon? We need Let's to know, and it. we don't know because none of we don't know your no exes. Mutuals, we, no nothing. mutuals. I met someone as well out there that was a friend of a friend that I got introduced to. Yeah, and honestly, he's the one that took me out on a date. So and? now, I'm, I mean, he's still here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's still there. Okay, but I'm saying. And then there was another guy that I dated that was that got introduced to me I'm by saying, a friend. Friend of friend is is fail proof. No, I'm not gonna lie. Although this one guy that. I was introduced to him, of, I hope he doesn't watch. This is my issue about talking about things online because I feel like it always gets into the hands of the person I'm talking about. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I can swear, right? That's fine. Anyways, yes. my friend had introduced me to this guy before Ghana mm-hmm. and he happened to be in Ghana. Per. Like cute, blah, blah, blah. And I was in the car one day with this girl I met while I was out there. Mm-hmm. And she was like, like, so, oh, like, so, like, what guys are you talking to, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, there's this one guy at ABC. She was like, he's like, the community bike. Oh no. She was like, yeah, like he's, you know, he's a whore in whatever place they're the from. The community bike? She said, oh, he's a whore. And I was like, I don't mind a big whore, but I was like, okay, good to know. Good to know. Would you still go there with a community bike? Community bike and big whore are very different. No, okay. they're the same thing. They're the same thing. I actually don't mind. I don't mind a big whore. Cause at least I know it's out of your system. You but don't what want- if he's like a cont- a whore continuum? Oh no! Like, like if you're a big whore and you're ready to settle down, mm-hmm. that's different. Not that you're a big whore, you're still trying to be in the streets, and then you're trying to. It's never going to be that. I don't know if a man can rebrand from from being a big whore, you know. But it's like everyone has a past. Yeah, but then my but it, the for you to be known as the community. Yeah, that's bike, kinda, I can't like community bike is. There's crazy. there's to be like you know when people are like he's outside. It's like okay, cool. Most men are outside. But this person was. Um, not from the UK. So maybe that's their way of saying like outside. So you're not even from the UK. No. People know you internationally. No, but as she's a slang. also neither of them are from the UK. They're both from a different part of the world. Girl, I don't know if I could act. if a, if somebody came to me and the CRB is he's a slag, especially with what we do, I don't yeah, want anyone to come to crazy. me as a woman. I have actually stopped talking to a guy because I, and like it, it felt like every every other day someone was saying, like, Oh yeah, he slept with Dudden. I was like <laughs> But it's Worse in the UK in the creative industry because this industry is this small. Y'all already heard me. I ain't dating nobody here. So by the time you slept with the, the, the like, bro, who haven't you slept with? Who have point? you slept? I can't lie though. I said to my team this year, I don't do creative, but I can't lie. You might see me with an African artist this year. God, this baby <laughs> goes to Lagos once, comes back talking about. Oh, I can't know, lie. It's Jada Wader. You you might see me in Which a one? little rapper moment. Which one? Do you know what? I'll Which be one? I'll be so honest. There is nobody right now that is even in my realm. Wait, for me but, to okay, be like, sorry. Why? What is with the the switch of the mind? Why are we now saying? Because you know what? Yeah, and I'm a bit I'm a bit chaotic. I just want to be I just want to be a rapper's girlfriend for a bit. Just to. 
just to see what it's like. I'm not gonna lie, one of my exes is oh, a- yeah! <laughs> Wait, I remember you so, were dating yeah. a rapper. So it's actually really fun and like the oh like the little like club appearances and like <laughs> it's just like really cute. They have loads of money are they you, just spend are you on gonna, you. Are you gonna share who the rapper is? Absolutely not. There's no <laughs> end hell. Good God. Absolutely not. There's no, no need for Uche. that. Okay, cool. So for someone who wants to have the rapper girlfriend experience, yeah. what is that like? I just feel like you got to know what you want from it going into it. What did you want? He, I think he was a unicorn. Okay. Like he was really super sweet. Um, not, I feel like a lot of, we call them like rappers and rapper adjacents mm-hmm. just get really like caught up in the lifestyle. Yeah. Which of course, if you're young, lit, rich, getting money with your homies and there's hella girls around, who's going to be like, no, I have a wife at home. Yeah. Do you get it? So I feel like most of them don't have like the mental to be like, no, in which case you should be single. You shouldn't mm-hmm. really be in a relationship. But some women also don't mind. Like you do a little bit outside, but when we're indoors, I'm not one of those people. Okay. If you want to do your bit outside, do your bit outside, but me and you aren't going to roll. on the equation. Yeah. Make that clear from jump. Mm-hmm. But also that started off very playful and then it got serious. It didn't start off serious. Okay. It started off like, oh, that he's cool. We're having a good time, blah, blah. And then it was like, oh. And he bought you a little here and there, little bag, little shoe. Bag, shoe, VC, <laughs> this, that. What's VC? Bag clip. Oh, Van Cleef on yeah, the wrist. Yeah, little, da, da, da. like they'll spend on you. You'll have a good time. Oh, but some of them are, are not good people. So just know that this is just a little good time. And like you have like your own little so good you, time. So did you know in your hearts of hearts it was just here for a good time, not a long time? We started off good time. I was, and I was, um, I'd been single for a while then. So I was very okay with like good time. Mm-hmm. And then the thing is, I always let men be the one to, you know, if they want to lock it down, they'll lock it down. Yeah. I'm not going to be the one to be like, okay, so like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, if you want to lock it down with me, you can lock it down with me. If you don't, I ain't finna die. Yeah. So, yeah, then things started getting like more serious, more serious. And I was like, are you sure you're not trying to? But he's so, again, there's few people, and I think a lot of them are, are more like this than they say. But I think they they like having like, oh, I've got my missus at home. Da, 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 da. And then I'm a slag outside. No, some of them, I actually feel like, I can think of maybe like two, you know, oh my God, that girl, she's absolutely stunning. And her boyfriend is also a rapper. He's dark skinned. She's like South Asian, I think. And they've got a, a little baby called Mello. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Oh, do you know who I'm talking about? Jade, absolutely no, not. Not actually the good. Not Jade, I could I'm talking about a UK, UK couple. UK, okay. But he's a rapper. She's like gorgeous. They've got a little baby. That's so, like, do you know what I mean? Like settle down. I feel like there's, unicorns and even like my friend was dating this guy also a rapper no interest in like being in the streets just wanted to like mash work and spend time with her i need to find me a little unicorn yeah so i feel like you can get little unicorns but for the most part don't even bother would you do it again no i also wouldn't because the uk is very small so anyone that i would they would know him and i'm just not really into that's why i'm not trying to know but what if it's not a uk artist even worse no crb a little, no, but the thing is, yeah, what, I'm really <gasps> trying to, girl. Although that one guy, when we were at a party together that moved to me, and I was like, oh my God, you'll know who it is when I tell you after. Was but, I there? Yes, and I was like, oh, do you know him? And you were like, no, but you were stood in between us. And then somehow he like went, this is like wireless weekend. Okay. And we were at a party, um, and he's not from, the, he's an American rapper. Oh yes, yes, you know yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, so I remember. He's like, oh, he's me. big. He's yeah, he's big. He's. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. Moved to me. We swap numbers. He, that was he was sexy. He was sexy. So sexy, and he was like trying to get me to come to like the club, and I was like not really on it. Like his friends were like, oh, did you, you speak? Come. Baby, he has a girlfriend. Do you know what? Not gonna lie, I saw that on the internet. I and saw I just it closed my after, eyes. and I was like, and I saw it like two days after. I just closed my same, eyes. Same because there'd been like a video of them. Yeah, proper. It was like a proper hard launch. The launch was hard. But I think people already knew they were together. No, but t- this launch was the, I don't know, p- maybe people thought they were together, but this one was it like, was, it was like shared post. You know when it's, when it was like a shared post between them two and I was oh, like, trusty. blood of Jesus. And did you remember blood, the encounter? Yes, that- yes, yes, yes. Blood of Jesus. Can I just say, I want to say something about Uche because I, I remember that situation and I remember watching that situation and thinking, how the f- does this girl, do, does this girl do it? Because before he, before he came, before he spoke to you, because we was on the same yeah, table, yeah, yeah. there was this look you was giving him and it was like, there was sex oozing from your eyes. I don't know how you did it, but God. it was like, it was like, yeah, you could talk to me like, 
Yeah, I'll give like, you the eye. I he need was to know so how sexy. To, he was sexy, but so I was, sexy. you know, I was just there because, you know, I just wanted to be around cool people. I said, but, Joyce, <laughs> I said, Joyce, can you link me? She was like, I don't know him. I, I don't like, know. Oh, I was shy. That's it then. <laughs> I wish I was like, girl, me too. I'm too, too, me too. I'm trying to know him. I was <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> and then he grabbed me and I was like, oh, nah, God, yeah. And I remember because I was next to, it wasn't him that I knew. It was his friend. Yeah, that you I knew just, his friend. I knew yeah, his yeah, friend. Yeah. And I heard his friend saying, he's like, yeah, she's your type. She's your type. She's your type. Like, she deaf for your type. Like, my your type. I'm not going to say the accent in it, but... Yeah, let's yeah, not, because it'll be too you, easy you, to play. By yeah. the time we said wireless weekend, it's no. not that hard to no, no, figure so, out no, what no, rappers. No, no, they won't, yeah. they won't, they won't, they won't, they won't, they won't get it. They won't get it. But um, honestly, like, the eyes that you gave him, I said, sister, I need to learn. You know crazy, though? That's just, like, my face. No, it was, it was different. Girl, I've seen your face. I've seen your motherfucking face. Like, the way you're looking at me, and I'm just like... You, I'm just looking at you. No, you wasn't just looking at him. Oh. Even me, I was thinking, damn. Ah! I, was thinking, I was thinking, I need to. How she do that? What she do with her nostrils right now? I'm was she done. Like, the co- eye contact was surreal. Even yeah. for me as an observer, I said, you mother ate that. But you know what? Girls always say, oh, like, how do you, without going over to them fully? Because mm-hmm. I wouldn't, in that situation, I wouldn't have gone over to him because of the nature of where we were. We were, yeah. So it, that's not really a place I'd go up to people. Yeah. Um, and I'm not usually an eye contact person. No, you was giving it but to him, But I was girl. just like, you was giving this it man to him is hard. so damn sexy. You was giving it to him hard, Like, girl. why have I never thought, I never thought about him like that. Yeah, because we've seen him before. And I never thought, but I saw him but and I was like. in that light, I was like, wait, hold on a minute. Because you he's look like really, really, really he's good. He's real chocolate. But then after the thing, I was like, there's no way in hell. Yeah. But. He still trying to hit you up after that? No, 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 no. But I think the next move is Afrobeat artist for me. There's no way in hell. Why? There's no way in hell. So you want to get cheated on relentlessly? God, do you know oh, okay. what? At this point, let's pick a side. Let's pick your poison. Do you know one thing though? I, with our industry, I think it's so normalized to be of guys that step out or like, Agreed. might do a little da 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 da. Mm-hmm. But I just never want that to be normalized in my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Like, Claim it for yourself, girl. I agree. Like, uh-uh, please. I agree. Like, mm-hmm. I really would love my man to be for me, be about like, me, be all about with me. me. Yeah, you obsessed. Just want to be with me. Obsessed is the word. Like. <laughs> Topics of the week, baby. Cool. So, hot topics of this week. Yeah. There was a conversation. Oh boy. On the internet, and it was, Ooh. "What's the first sign that somebody wants to sleep with you?" I thought this was fun to start. That's funny. Because the girlies know. What's the first sign that someone wants to sleep with you? Somebody said, "Do you live alone?" That's when a so guy asks, funny. do you live oh alone? But then I'm thinking, why don't you live alone? Talking about, do I live alone? Do you live alone? Facts. When a guy says to me, when a guy asks me, oh yeah, do you live alone? Or do you live with your parents? It's like, do you have the free yard for me to get jiggy Right, in? and also, but my thing then is, I don't know you from anywhere. <laughs> well, you can have strangers in and out of my house. No, but even if you said you don't live alone, do you think that they care? They will still f*** you in your, and your mummy's room is next door. They'll be door. like, oh no, I'll pull up outside. In the, in the car? Hell, do they have a car? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, for you, from your experience, what is the first sign? When do you, when you look at a guy and you talk to him, what's the sign that you know that this guy wants to f*** me? Do you know what it is? I feel like men are mad forward with me. Okay. Do you think you give like... I don't know what I give. They'll be like, oh, you look like you taste good. I'm like, pause. Wow. And now you'll never find out. That's intense. Men, I feel like men are mad mm-hmm. forward. They don't even try and be coy anymore. Yeah, men are definitely forward. Very forward. I don't know. I've Now, I've tried to not take men wanting to sleep with me so personally. Yeah, because I'll sleep with anyone. Before, I used to be like, oh my God, like he just wants me for sex. But then it's like, obviously you're an attractive lady. Yeah. Of course he wants to fuck yeah, you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying not to take it so personally, but I think it's important to have a class yeah. and a, can, a classiness yeah. Yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. how you tell me yeah. that you want to sleep Ginger with me. Ginger me small. Ginger me small. Like, or say it flirtily. Yeah. Don't be coming outright talking about- You know about, what I love? Go oh, um, We should cuddle. Now everyone's going to come up to me talking about we should cuddle. But- Girl, I don't know you. No, that to me, that would put I, me off. I like cuddling. No, if you're already in a in a situation where you're like already kind of flirting, mm-hmm. don't be all talking about oh, like I want to jerk you down. All this shit. Like, <laughs> shut the f- like what? Be soft. Be be soft. Go in there on some like sh- like stroking. When a starts touching you, he's trying to. F- I remember when 
starts breathing at you, he's trying to. When he <laughs> even looks at you, but you know when they do that up and down? Yeah. He's trying to fight. You already know what time it is. <laughs> The up and do down know, look. Do you know what it is for me? There was a guy that I was seeing recently. He always used to send me sex memes on Twitter. Why? He always used to send me like memes of like sexual you references. Have no self-control? And he used to send it to me every morning. What? It's like, first of all, it's nice to know that when you wake up, you think about me. That's the first thing. No, but then I need <laughs> to know where, where else is this going? I, do you know what? This is so bad. I just feel like men that do that, I just think you're just shooting. Yeah, like, forwarded, forwarded, yeah. forwarded, just forwarded. Which one sticks. Agreed. Like ah. you didn't wake up and think, oh, let me get this money. You wake, you wake up and thought, let oh me, God. let me send you some. <laughs> now I feel like you're a fucky fucker. Like what the hell? Honestly, I swear to God, I said, but it's a bit of a turn off though. It's so tasteless. I think it's also a turn off when I see guys social media and you look at their likes and it's just all women. I don't look at their likes. I Should, like peace of mind. Can I just say, Uche, if anyone is the definition of a toxic woman. Yeah. You're definitely, I wish I was more like you because my goodness, you're f-ing toxic. No, guys, stop saying this because this is actually- No, nah, Uche, I'm, you're so toxic. I get this so much. You move more, like a boy. I you do, do also get that. But I just feel like <laughs> I'm just very like no nonsense. Yeah, you are. And I think a lot of men are no nonsense, but mm-hmm. a lot of women tend to be quite, um, they'll like let a couple of things, but I know. I, I be sliding and slipping and sloping, Because now this is the circus. The zoo's come to town. Why? And I'm the clown. <laughs> honk, honk. <laughs> honk, honk, bitch. Hello. Like, you know what I mean? Because I had one situation. This guy, oh, I had this one situation with this guy at uni. Mm-hmm. And I just, do you know what it is? I just thought he was like the sweetest guy ever. Mm-hmm. And I just thought he was so sweet and could never, ever do any bad. Mm-hmm. So when like little things happen, I just be like, oh, da, da, da. This guy was the biggest demon I've had the misfortune of encountering. What did he do? What didn't he do? <sighs> wow. I was talking about gaslighting. Wow. Manipulator. Wow. She, I remember he had a best friend that had the same name. If you know me, you already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Him and his best friend had the same name and people would call them this name squared. They were f***ing the whole time. And I remember I was- Wait, the, wait, wait, wait. As a female. Female best yeah. friend and him. Yeah. What? And then she like befriended me. And I was like, you and this bitch are f- sick and twisted. What kind of charade is going? And then I remember there was a ski trip at uni and I didn't go for whatever reason. And they both went. And they went to be in the snow. They were fucky fucky. What? <laughs> Guys, <coughs> no. Since then, before then, I feel like I was quite soft, but I always had good experiences with guys. So mm-hmm. I never had to be like stern. But in adulthood, I think you encounter so many people that have never been told no, never had like a foot put down on them, never had like someone enforce boundaries. So they just come with nonsense quite early on. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no, 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 it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I think 2024, I've definitely have really forced myself to instill more boundaries to, yeah. within myself. You have to, babe. I'm such a lover girl. I'm such a nice babe. So am I though. But. There's sometimes where I just close my eyes and let things happen. Like this morning, unfortunately, I had to cut off one of my boyfriends. Good. Because after a while, I just thought, you know, sometimes you need to really sit down and ask yeah. yourself, why is this person here? Did I, that I had the exact, literally early well, down, I, I had the same hold on revelation. Because we're doing our thing. I'm, you know, getting myself together. Mm. I'm in a, I'm in a good place. Things are working out well for, well for me. I have good friends. Now, apart, apart from slanging your d- What else? What else? What else? Is but sometimes it's like, that can be their purpose. It doesn't always have to be like this deep, meaningful. Sometimes your purpose is to sling wood. And if I want the emotional connection with someone, I'll go to someone else to get that. I want to be this babe. I can't. No, but- my heart and my vagina are in sync. No, unsync them. Thank unsink. you. And the the way you can unsick, if you're obviously like having good sexual chemistry with this guy, whoever you're having the emotional connection with, you can't sleep with them. <sighs> you can't sleep with them because then that's when it gets messy. But see, the person that I, like when you're emotionally connected with someone, you want to be more emotionally connected with them and you want to, you know. It's got to be someone that you don't want to Be body more. to body. No. No? No. Because no. this is when it gets messy. Because then obviously then you're like, then I want, what's the difference then between you dating them and you being with them? If you've got the sexual, the emotional, the physical, everything is like magical, then let's be together then. Yeah. But I want me a little boyfriend. Does he have the capacity? 
And that's the thing. Do they, they have the capacity? Honestly, I find that... So, obviously, since I've been to Nigeria, I have yeah. been multiple dating. Like, guys, progression. Remember, I said I wasn't doing it's, it. No, it's good. Now I'm it's doing good. it. But what I find... Obviously, I'm dating to, you know, yeah. settle down. Yeah. But what I find is there's... Somebody has something that somebody else doesn't yeah. have. That somebody else has. Yeah. That somebody else doesn't have. And yeah. it's like, you can't find your one what? but then you've got to figure out which what, what takes priority okay guys because this i had to cut this one guy off gorgeous man amazing <laughs> chemistry mm-hmm. nothing upstairs <sighs> couldn't hold an intellectual conversation to save his life yeah that's a big thing you have to go i'm what, what do they call it i'm a sapiosexual is that what they call it when you're like attracted to, to yeah, intelligence like, like in, let me let me hear but that's a lot of fine boys do nothing upstairs just it's not on <sighs> and it's like can you even say do you know what? and sometimes i will end things with people because i'm like i don't know if i'm for you oh and then because i'm like i feel like you can do better than me not even on some like who's it my friend was like that's so selfless i'm like it's not really about being selfless but i would appreciate if someone was like i don't know if i'm a good match for you and in the moment they they always like no da, da, da. But then they always end up two cases um my ex is married it's like a church girl. And mm-hmm. I'm like, this is literally exactly, exactly <laughs> what she I said. Saw you don't want this hoochie mama. <laughs> I said, this is exactly the, the kind of girl I saw him being with. And then someone else is like dating someone. I'm like, yeah, they're way more suited for you than I am. So I feel like something this year that I really am trying to do better at is mm-hmm. saving. Yes. And money management and investing yes. as well. How yeah. has your experience been with all that stuff? So I actually had a financial... Uh, planning and meeting with my accountant. My accountants are really good um, at those kind of things of like, yeah. like, you, let, like book a call and let's talk about this, let's talk about that. Mm-hmm. So I had a financial plan and meeting with them uh, literally last week actually, um, because I wanted to invest more. Defo. Um, so I was just like chopping up ideas with them. They're really good in terms of like, oh, you should do this, this, this. I'm really resistant to home ownership. Just, okay. Just because I feel like um, I'm obviously single. So I've never been like, the idea of buying on my own has never been like that. Like the deposit is there waiting. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, I'd just rather buy with someone else. But I'm also at the point now where last time it took me six months to find a new place to rent. Oh yeah. It was just so much headaches that I'm like, do you know what? Let me just buy a house because then I don't have to worry about always thinking about, oh, where am I going to live next? Where am I going to live next? The rental market is very terrible. It's, it's very, very bad. Like it every time so I speak disgusting. to my friends, it's always a discussion of, oh, my landlord wants to sell. I have to find somewhere That's to stay. That's what happened to me. My landlord sold and I had to find somewhere new to live. And honestly, to find somewhere else to live <sighs> is Lord. literally so chaotic. Lord. Like Lord. even when I've been in my house for coming up to two years now and I and I didn't see my house. Yeah. Like, oh, you just blind did it i it blinded yeah, yeah, it yeah. because honestly after five six seven times of rejection Madness. i just said anywhere i could stay let me just stay there right thank god that my house ended up being a nice that place to me as well. but my goodness i just had to just blind do it and hope for the Otherwise best it's homelessness girl when they're giving you deadline and you're like okay cool like one month um, is yeah, fine. yeah I've got to- but then literally like by the time you go and book a viewing that house is gone but it's also done. there was like three or four cases where and i hate this is what i hate now it's like hunger games when i first moved out of my parents house um a few years ago it's like you can go view a place put a deposit down cool now it's like you go view a place everyone that wants to make an offer they give all the offers to the landlord the landlord picks yeah the landlord is not going to pick a single creative do you know what i mean yeah they're going to probably go for like maybe like a stable lawyers, job yeah, yeah or the stable job babes bro. yeah, yeah they're going to go for the stable people which made it even harder to find somewhere to live and for, and for most of the people who are self-employed they ask for like six months in advance yeah i paid i like to pay six months up front anyway yeah just because then i don't have to think about that but then even when I do that, I'm like, that my rent is, my rent times six months. I was just like, whoa, that is a lot of money. It's a lot of money for something like, that doesn't belong to you. Don't belong to me. But I, my, my argument for this is because a lot of people say that. Yeah. People act like, oh my God, like renting is such a waste of money, but you're getting somewhere to live in exchange. <laughs> I feel it. Like you're paying someone in exchange for something. Obviously I understand if it was your own place, it'd be going towards you, but people act like you just throw rent money into the wind and it flies away and then that's it. I wasn't expecting this to be have a seed in it. I think yes, it's, it's a lychee. To be honest, this probably is the first time I've eaten a lychee. What do you think? They're a unique taste. I love a lychee. It's got a big fat seed in it. 
Yeah. Oh. I was about to say something so inappropriate then. Girl, this is CNT, baby. Say what you feel. Honestly, I do want to buy a house though. Yeah, I think that's. My I next. feel like it's a bit for bag. It's like just to be like. But I've been just- looking because my because I said to my accountant I was like oh, I think I'm probably gonna buy in the next year, and he was like mm, no we can get you somewhere in the next six months. I was like it's not that I can't get somewhere in the next six months. The issue is finding somewhere I like enough that you like enough to to call your to call your first home. Yeah. Honestly, I just want to do it like for bragging rights to be like j- don't you just feel like people that have houses just have their shit together even if they don't they do have their shit together and i remember i was saying to someone oh like congratulations because she just bought a new place yeah it's lovely to see like especially like black homeowners like uh, get your yeah. motherfucking house girl yeah, we get love your it. house we love girl it. but she was like oh it's so crazy because you spend all of this time obviously working towards it and she was like obviously when you pick up the keys and you go in, it's all like blah, blah, blah. and then the next day it was like oh is this it no, but we need to all stop doing that. We all need to stop taking it to, to like taking our achievements and then just brush it yeah. off. That's a that's a big problem that that's we're all a very working. Good point. We are all yeah, working yeah. because getting a house It's a big it's not especially, it's, especially alone. Alone she got hers in alone. this day and age yeah, it's crazy. It's quite easy. It's, yeah, no, it's true. So those people who are it's on true. their way on the property ladder, those people who have got their house, who are even thinking about it, that have the means, big up you. Honestly. Because it's it is not easy. It's definitely but yeah. I am can I just say something? I am constantly fighting between saving money and treating myself. But you have to I feel like that's why it's good to have seasons. Cause last year, this is why like literally first week of Jan I was on my um planning thing with my accountant because mm-hmm. i feel like last year i was just like oh. it's like i'll do this oh business here da, 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 da. like very fl- frivolous mm-hmm. and now i'm like okay now i need to um regroup and get my investments in check the investments are a really big thing for me long term mm-hmm. and short term yeah so that's what i'm really focusing on at the moment which is why the home ownership because obviously the house is an investment um even though i think there's better investments but it's an investment nonetheless but i think if you give yourself like seasons but I remember one time you went to LA and you were mm. like, yeah, I went to LA and this is how much it cost. Did I say that publicly? Not publicly. We were just having a conversation. Oh yeah. LA was, I spent the mortgage money on the LA trip. <laughs> so like now you did that last, that was last year, right? No, but to be honest, yeah, that was, that was last year. And that it means was, you can't do that again for a few years. For my piece of my, see, here's the thing. Yeah. I will go through stages where it's like, I have the little spreadsheet yeah. and I have the financial yeah. plan yeah. and this is how much I'm going to be saving every month and this is how yeah. much I'm going to be spending on food and clothing yeah. and then one small inconvenience in my life and I just need to go and buy All something on Primark. Yeah. I just need to go and spend. Yeah. I just need to go and feed myself at one filet mignon steak restaurant. Get I just need right to book now. a holiday yeah, okay. because yeah. life is tough. Life okay. Is tough. And then you finish all the money on the holiday and then you come back and you're thinking, wow, the um, problem the still problem is still here. here wow oh my god the problem is still here like, even when i do like a, a online shop do you know what i'm good until the e- this one i'm trying to unsubscribe from all the emails because that's what gets me mm-hmm. you do the online shop it's endorphins when you're putting everything in your basket and you're paying them add when the basket, clothes come basket. you're just like oh more time they even fit me so what was i even thinking when i was doing all this more time they, they look a lot cheaper than they're supposed to be right and that's what that's why i stopped shopping on plt because i would do these massive orders and i'm like this sh- is whack or you can only wear it once once and then it's and then that's it it rips or it's just really like shit material i'm trying to stop using shopping as like a i'm actually just trying to stop spending on yeah. <laughs> agreed i want to start having like long-term pieces yeah yeah like pieces that last for a long but time also with those i th- maybe because i'm still early on in my like building wardrobe yeah i have all these cute pieces no outfits Facts, facts. Where are the outfits? You have, I have so many pieces. individual clothes. <laughs> no outfits. That when they come together, they still don't make any sense. Make, How? This is what I was trying to challenge myself uh, towards the end of last year of making outfits out of like, like this skirt is one of them, out of like these really like key pieces. Mm-hmm. It's like, what's the point of having all these cute clothes when it comes to like going out, all of a sudden I got You don't know to how wear. to put them together. Like, like my brain starts busting. I have so <laughs> many clothes that for some reason just do not collaborate. Go, they don't, they don't come together. Also award shows, stuff like that. I'm trying to stop like buying, cause I will like buy an outfit. But I know I'm not gonna wear it more than once. Same. So I'm now trying to get into the habit of working with stylists and doing loans instead of like buying hot. Cause it's like I wore it once. It's never seen the like that. Ne- yes, yeah, seriously. Like, that's me, girl. Why did I just? Oh, spend what all that about? Money? I was thinking about 
buying outfits and then maybe putting them out on loan yeah with like what do they call that thing where like you by rotation like by rotation yeah I that's a good little side a hustle because that's like an assistant job what happens to your old assistant oh because she doesn't live in london i feel like i need someone that lives in london yeah just for like the ease of stuff like oh i need you to come over today and put all these things on by rotation or i need you to go to the post office and drop off this giveaways or, like the other day in my car like last year in my car i had to take my car to the mechanic and then he called me to say i was ready to pick up and i was like now I have to go get it. I could send I my need me a to little get assistant. Do you get it? It's just like makes things easier. All the admin stuff that happens in my life that I'm like, I just can't bother to do this. Do you know what? I feel it. And I feel like I do use my manager a lot as my assistant. And my honest. manager said to me, this is an assistant's job. She just don't be telling me that. She just be doing it. We but I know she a... does it and she's thinking, this ain't my mother. Girl. But my manager is also my best friend. So we went to an award show and I was like, oh my God, I, like, can we just sneak out quickly and get some Shake Shack? So we sneak out, get the Shake Shack. And I'm like, you take the bag and run in. So we're like running in and we get in and she's like, this is an intern's job, by the way. Or like an assistant's <laughs> job, by the way. Why am I running in here with, I was like, I'm so sorry. This is below my pay grade, girl. Literally, she was like, why are you, you got me doing running man, like shop boy. I was like, no, but you take I'm it sorry, to and this, I love oh, you. Do you know what? They're, they're just everything packaged in one. But yeah, I definitely want to be a lot more financially sensible this year. I definitely want to save more, mm. but I also want to travel more. Like I'm just in a bit of a mental. Pick one. Go on. Pick one. And can't you both? Ugh, girl, come on now. Mm -mm. Sorry. She's she, not the fucking voice of reason. Oh no. Not the voice. I what? can't put the pit back in the drink. Yeah, you can. It's your drink, isn't it? True, my saliva. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm do you know what? That what I've realized with investments and mm -hmm. money is you really. It's the same with like when I'm in a growth season on social media. You really have to be focused on the long term, whatever you're saving for, whatever you're investing for, mm -hmm. and like having those seasons because obviously we're in our twenties. Yeah. My biggest fear, one of my biggest fears, is to get to like fifties and sixties, and I've got nothing to show for all the work I've been doing. You know when people are like, "Where's all my money?" Facts. Do you have like a retirement fund? Yes, yeah, so I need to set up my pension. That's what I've been doing. Like pension. Some of the ways you can do investment is like pension, um, life time isa um mm -hmm. there was another one that they were telling me stocks and shares obviously um but i also like investing in like companies okay i didn't know you was a was entrepreneurial guru don't play with me and don't play with my mind period no, no. but there's like it's for me it's more like a to a like things i actually physically without saying too much things i'm actually physically using not like uber or like bolt but more local homegrown about going into too much yeah but i want to definitely build up my investment portfolio a bit more i love that do you know what i feel like i just and i guess uh, the lack of knowledge on investment in the black community is it's, a big thing and i feel like i definitely have started taking more action to make sure that i'm more equipped into knowing how i can create lifetime yeah for sure income and yeah. lifetime wealth for yeah. me and the people after me and the people after of me course. because girl there's you hear this story with with artists you hear this story yeah with, about like running out of money and with stuff. sportsmen yeah. when they, you know then they were making millions and billions and, and billions like, where's the money then when, the money? when they finish working as soon as they finish working or work is not coming in or work is slowing down you don't hit capooch right. but you know what it is I feel like some of us are like you can be really lucky and blessed in mm -hmm. the ways that uh, for example obviously like my parents aren't multi-millionaires but they always instilled in us about like saving and investments so we all have investments in like my brother's company and like my mom has investments in her company and my dad Amazing. Will have in, yeah you know what i mean so it's like not waiting till you're making the crazy money to even explore the ideas of investing you can invest with what you have whether that's like a retail salary or like a nine to five or an investment yeah there's always ways to make your money go further and i think there does need to be more spoken about that because I think oftentimes you think, oh, I need to make lots of money before I can even start thinking about investing. There's actually a girl on TikTok that talks a lot about investing. Um, if you have like a 20K salary or 35K, how she would break it up and invest it herself. Sick. So yeah, I think there's so much research to be done, but oh, it's uh, to me, it feels overwhelming. And I almost wish I had a finance boyfriend yeah like a like a see that's the thing maybe we should just stop looking at these artists i start looking i was at never them. looking at them babe okay maybe just me then 
Look at that. There was a, there is a guy that I'm talking to right now. He is. Wait, how many? Can we say how many? Oh, you can't say that because if they watch the show, they're going to be like, I'm I don't do 50. too much of P's and Q right no, now. I'm going to put you on D and D. D. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a proper finance guy. But again, maybe, like you said, I think it's important to, I, I feel like I'm trying to get everything from one person. But he's definitely oh, a finance this guy. this is a finance bro. No, no, no. What? No, well, I have a tech bro. You have a tech bro? I have a finance bro. Okay. I have it. But keep the finance bro close because he can really tell you about, because there was a guy, he's got a girlfriend number. He was, um, <laughs> <laughs> he was really, I don't even know why I never took him seriously, but he was like an investment banker and then went into hedge fund. He was so intelligent mm -hmm. and I would just ask him questions. Half the answer would just go over my head, obviously, because he's far more intelligent than I am. Mm -hmm. But it was just so fascinating to hear to keep them around. And be passionate. Yeah, because they like, also because I feel like they know more, um, not undercover, but not the obvious ways of it. Yeah, you know, everyone's yeah, like, yeah. oh, home ownership, that's a great investment. And like, this is a- But they know what's popping on yeah, the streets. Yeah, there was actually someone that told me, oh, you should invest in that, because you use it a lot. Yeah. And you've kind of grown with it. Mm -hmm that would be a really good investment. And I was like, oh my God, why did I, did I not even think about that? So it's good to keep them around because they make you think outside the box. It's CNT, baby. <laughs> right, I want to just <laughs> chop it up with you for a quick little one, two, well, three, four, do five, down, down the line. And I want to ask you about what you're, what you're listening to at the moment. So in terms of music, like what's your, what's your steez? Talk to me. I think obviously because like this happens Every January after day December, I feel like everyone is just really on Afro beats. Listen, have you listened to my playlist? No, I, I, you you put it up. <laughs> I need to listen. I had some of the songs in it. I'd already saved myself. My playlist? But yeah, it was definitely like an depiction of, but I also think yours will be slightly different because I do think there's different music in Lagos and Ghana. I want to say something yet that's going to trigger the Ghanaian people. God, are we sure we wouldn't do this? Do you know what? F it, I've been flogged already. I've been f Can I just say it? you lap, guys. I'm having a great time in Accra. <laughs> My friends talking about, have you seen? <laughs> <laughs> Joyce was getting lashed. They fried you like plantain. They put you in a blender, babe. They really tried. They, ah. Oh, wait, how did I even clock this? So obviously I did the show. I did the show. It wasn't even your pod. It wasn't it? even yeah, my pod. I was I on a holiday. Like it was unfortunate because that podcast had also been getting yeah. lashings the week before. They had been getting lashings. Yeah. So people were already angry at yeah. them. And I went on and I was talking about a certain demographic of boys who were, who did not have money in pertaining to dating, right? So in the dating scene that they weren't doing very well <laughs> financially. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Let me not laugh. But everybody started talking to me about their economic situations. And I was like, that's not the point I was trying to make. I'm so, like, I, I love everybody, right? But my thing, and I think sometimes you have to understand me to understand my lingo. Mm. So, for example, if I said, if I said something like the whole of, the whole of Liverpool have left feet, if I said it randomly, I don't, I mean the whole demographic uh, yeah, it's, it's of Liverpool hyperbole, exaggerated. It's hyper exaggerated. I'm a very exaggerated person. And I think what is starting to annoy me about the internet a little bit is that I say a lot of things for comedic purposes. Mm. And if you know me, we love a laugh, we love a chinny. Mm. So like if I, if I said, oh my God, that boy is broke. Like I don't necessarily mean that his economic crisis is financially disastrous. <laughs> I might be talking about, yeah, like he doesn't spend filling me on steak. He doesn't, like, he doesn't spend on women. God, yeah, he doesn't spend on women. Yeah. Like if, like, and that's what a lot of girls, like if we're like, oh yeah, that boy is broke. We don't, we mean like you don't spend. Yeah. But I think sometimes for some reason, people have started to take what I say to its element. But the people that were, um, do was it because obviously it wasn't on your podcast so was it their audience or was it also your like it, the, what it was everybody's was it? audience oh, it was it was people who weren't even my audience oh damn everybody was just so mad and do you know what's so funny one, one thing that's so funny about the internet is that the internet will do what the internet does a factual so the internet was angry mm. but the boys in real life were trying to prove to me that they got money I'm like, <laughs> 
the boys in real life were trying to prove to me that I'm they got bread. absolutely finished. And guess what? They were spared it. They? they said, in Ghana? You, you're the girl that thinks that don't have money. Come here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let I've me got, show I've you. I've got something, got to something for you. you. But I do feel like a, a lot of guys are on this, like, I want to prove that I'm not broke. But yeah, who, who for? No, but if I the thing is, if I say that, if it doesn't apply, let it fly, baby. Yeah. Like don't be, don't be, don't be so butthurt about it. Like, anyways, I remember that was happening, but I was in a different country. I think right. if I was in London, if, if, if I was in London, that would have huh? in the cold plus insult. <laughs> But uh, I, my daddy's was I was in I was in a she different was country. In Lagos. I was she I met I, when I was when during that time that that was happening. I had my little Ghan, Ghanaian boo. Wait in Lagos? No, so during that time that's happening, I was in Ghana. Are you in Ghana when that I was, was in Ghana? Off? When I popped up, I was in Ghana, and I had my little Ghana boo. And do you know what? Yeah. The, the guy didn't even know I was on socials. He doesn't even, he didn't even know I was on oh, social wonderful. media. So wow, so he didn't even see all that. He didn't have a clue. <laughs> oh, this said, yeah, so fuck it, fuck it. He didn't even have a clue. I was just like, yes, baby, pour the champagne. <laughs> Can you pour the champagne for me? So let's talk about, before we move on, where did you meet these guys when you were in Ghana and Nigeria? Like, where did you meet them? Okay, so I met the one, the one in Nigeria, I, I met through a friend. This oh, one yes, I met through yeah, a friend. Yeah. I had friend that intro. one through a friend. Friend yeah. intro. Then when I'm in the clubs now, like, ugh, guys, I don't. She got body. When I'm when body. I'm in the clubs, yeah. when you're in the club stepping into the scene, yeah, guys are different. Like in Lagos, I remember I didn't tell the story in my other podcast yeah. because of all the f- bullshit that was happening during that time. I think I think that's well, did it happen during that time? No, it happened after. So mm-hmm. I was sitting in the club mm-hmm. like this, legs crossed, mm-hmm. like this, sitting. Shall it pop? Yeah. Mind you, your legs aren't crossed, but go on. No, sorry. <laughs> Emma, too, Emma. Shall hey. pop is playing in the back. Yeah. There was four of us. Imagine you're there. There's one girl here. I'm here. I'm here. There, you know how the boys stand on the chairs? Yeah, 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 yeah. I kid you not. This boy picked wads. He, I, I did it. Of cash? On ca- of cash. And just went, bam, 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 bam. Every girl on the seats. Bam, 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 bam. This is definitely Nigeria. And the girls didn't budge. They didn't move. Ben and man, I came late. So since mm. the girl had dollars in her hand already, she had dollars in her hand already. And I now I'm trying to be cool. I'm like, can be classy. And I whispered to the girl on the down. left. I said, sister, why, why did he drop cash <laughs> on my pocket? She goes, yeah, it's just for you. Just because you're here with them. They're just dropping it. I said, huh? <laughs> Swear down. <laughs> huh? When you're in the club and the guys are forward. Yeah, the they're, guys, the are, guys forward, are forward yeah. if they but like they're you. But married. Oh, God. Fam. Yeah. You see, yeah. I, literally, I literally said this on Toka's episode. I said the married men are doing single boy they are better than the single boys. Absolutely relentless. The married men in Nigeria. No, that's actually The married so... men raise. But the thing is, you have to... Because generally, anyway... If a guy comes to raise me up, cool. Does anyone think that you're their man kind of vibe? You have to ask. Always. Because men are treacherous. Is that now how we saw two days after that man has a girlfriend? Facts. I actually didn't ask him. We saw it on the internet. I saw it on the internet? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's what happens when you don't ask. To be honest, I just not ask. I have to ask. So you ask What if I really like mad like you and then you have a girlfriend? Later down the line... Before when it's when you've already got feelings. No, like as in like a week later, a couple of days. Because the thing is, yeah, I always assume if a guy's talking to me, then he must be single. But that's me being that stupid. That is the worst assumption. That's me being stupid. Very stupid assumption. I know, I know guys that I'm like cool with that I know obviously in a situation, and you're talking to babes. Don't piss me off because I'm a snitch. <laughs> And they have to be like, remember who you were friends with first? Remember who's your friend? Yeah, don't misbehave around me though, because that's never going to fly, so. Girl, I know, honestly, the, 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 the married man pandemic is bad. And in Nigeria, it's very, very bad. If they don't have girlfriend, they have- Wives, Like, I remember there was one- family. There, there was one guy I was talking to briefly, and everybody kept mentioning, you know his, you know his baby mom is mad. You know his baby mom is mad. You know his baby mom can fight. I'm just like, bro. And I, and I heard it from like four or five other people. And at which point did you say, do you know it's not for me? Do you know what? Yeah. I can't. I'm fucking done. <laughs> He's just, we're just friends. Like, the see, fu- you see trouble. Because why are we even friends? <laughs> no, but I kept hearing it. And I, uh, the thing is, there was one time I asked him about it. 
and I was like, every time I bring up your name, just on a, we weren't even dating, mm-hmm. just on a friendship yeah. thing, people keep telling me about your baby mom. And what did he say? He said, I don't know why people are saying that. <laughs> Every single one of these cameras. <laughs> but and I said to God, it was like four, oh my five day. different people. He said, I don't know why people are saying that. I don't know why people are saying that. Where are you hearing that? <laughs> but to me, I heard it from like five different people from different Do you spaces. Know what that means that means his baby mom is a scrapper. Yeah, she's yeah, she's <laughs> a scrapper. <laughs> she's on it, bruv. She's on it. Even my like, friend said, do you know what? Do you know what killed me? The last person that said, the last person that said, oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to hang out with da, 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 da. She goes, you know the baby mummy is? <laughs> As in, she's, I said, nah, there's no way your baby mom is out here fighting in the streets. But someone else has a baby mom like that, but he like publicly embarrasses her and everyone's like, oh yeah, his baby mom is mad, but she also works for him. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I know who you're talking but about. But he like publicly embarrasses like, Whenever I've seen him, he's been with different girls. This is, is uh, this is Nigeria. Yeah, I know who you're yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what? She's living a sweet life, man. You can't be mad at him. But she, I feel like she'll f- fight a bit. No, she will. She will fight a she bit. She definitely fights. She, she definitely fights. It's like I don't want. That's why I find it hard to date men with. Tw- anyways, anyways, anyways. We're not gonna. We're just not gonna go there. Anyway, let's. We diverted. You were asking me a question about. Girl, what was the motherfucker saying? Babe? Um. Your music. Your music. Oh, sh- yeah, sorry. What do you like? Music, music. Okay, right now I'm really liking Omale, obviously. Mm-hmm. I like the new boys. I like Omale. I like Rema. I like Shelly Poppy. Uh, um, they call me Shelly Poppy. Listen, this is Joyce. Ah! Sorry. I feel like cast, ex convict, ex convict, yes. I feel like they were going off. Do you know what? December. All of December. All I heard was Shally Poppy yep. in rotation. Yep. As in three songs at once. Yeah. That song is the Ben Nam, the Ben Nam, the Ben Nam, La Benz, the Ben Nam, the Ben Nam, the Ben Nam, La Benz, the Ben Nam, the Ben Nam, the Ben Nam, the Go, the Ben Nam, the Benz. Like, so I start to the bed down, the day, they start to the year. That's my song. Bruh. Oh my day. Bruh. And you know what? Yeah, I could be in a place that like, I won't feel it. I'll be sitting there vibing. They play that song? Did they start to do Ben now? Do Ben now? Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I will stand the up for my King Shelly Pops. <laughs> so, guys, we are going to move on. Wait, you didn't tell to... us your artist that you're loving at the moment. Oh, yes. Let me tell you my artist that I'm loving at the moment. Before Between we us, up. we're sharing two brain cells. I know, honestly, fighting for our lives. So, Shelly Pops. Yeah. Udza Mudza Black. Yeah. I've been really loving I'm a Piano recently. Guys, please Ooh, check out my playlist. Loving? Yeah, send me down. But I don't know the mother names. I just know the songs. You know who I love? Waffles. Waffles is amazing. DJ Waffles is amazing. Who Uncle Waffles. Uncle Waffles. That's a DJ Waffles. Uncle Waffles is amazing. I also, love her a lot. Um, Arya Star. Arya Star is doing amazing. I love her song in Wazzy. It's amazing. Yeah, I love it. Crayon is doing amazing. Oh, Crayon as well, yeah. I'm trying to look at my phone. I really like WizKid's new EP. Love it. Mind you, did not know he had a new EP out. He did. It's really good. It's called uh, S2. I'll listen to it on the way home. Really love it. Yeah, there's a couple people that's doing what they need to do. Who but else? I feel like there's one I'm missing. Wait, can I look at my phone? But yeah, so far, to, uh, Nili Ola I've been loving. I feel like who? I've just... Nili Ola. I don't know who that is. She's amazing. Nili Ola has been in the game for a while, but I really got to discover her whilst I was in Nigeria. Lagos, yeah. Outside of Afrobeats, you know what song I really love? Never had a bitch like me in your life and you never had a like me she's been away from us what the right. black expression on your face right now right so we are going to wait <laughs> what <laughs> does anyone else know that song no. we are yeah. going to move Flo Millie, on thank god anyone you guys know flow millie jesus christ we are going Let's to move, move on. on to our Let's. favorite game say it or shot it no i'm joking it's Woo! are you smart joking oh it's are you smart oh see god. you in a bit We are back and we are back with our favorite game. But honestly, before we start the game, we have been, how long have we been in Emmanuel? One hour, one minute. We've been in for an hour and one minute and I haven't introduced you. I just want to say something, guys. So I'll I'll explain something to you. So we've been having a very different structure um, on the show. 
And unfortunately, the bad boys and girls weren't really feeling it. Do you know what yes. I mean? They were telling me, Joyce, we love you, but we <laughs> want to bring it. it back to the chit chat and the gist and the conversation. So we decided this year, do you know what? We are just going to go back and just allow it to be what it needs to be. So as you notice, mm. we've been having free, 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 free chats. We've been chatting, <laughs> we've been gisting, but I must introduce you because honestly, you've been what, 12 years in the game? Yeah. Can I just say, even before I started doing my show, you're somebody that I watched. Really? Hell yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? You know what? Can I just say something? gone you know when you did your composite yeah yeah sorry that's what to- i i copied you i'm like Is I it? yeah i remember when you first did it that was quite a while back though it was eight, it was like uh five years ago it was five years ago and i remember you first five, done it ago, yeah. and i watched it and i said nah whatever she put in her mouth i need to no. fucking put it to you had the real you had the influencer of influencers come on now and don't honestly i'm i'm so I'm so excited to have you here, guys. If you don't know who it is, which, like, why? Because you've been living under a rock. This is the content creator, the beauty expert, the speaker, the bad girl, the fashionista. Oh, You've probably seen her on TikTok in her in her all marble bathroom. <laughs> in her classy all marble bathroom. And I'm, I'm honestly so happy that you are here today finally it's been a long time coming guys i would love to introduce one hour in to my mother (laughs) fred honestly can i just say i'm honestly seriously i'm so gassed to have you can i just say because people probably are wondering why why haven't you been on the show and it's not because we haven't had it in the works. No, I feel like even my manager was like, what's going on? Yeah, like, she was trying to get me on for a minute. She was like, you should go on Joyce's show. You should go on Joyce's yeah. show. And I'm like, yeah, I'm open. Could I just say, it's because I feel like our friendship has been a bit of a slow burner. Guys, let me give you the... Because <laughs> one thing, she's going to try to be politically correct. I'm going to give you the tea. Go on. I thought Joyce didn't like me, Okay. And I remember, I just always be like, yeah, I don't know if she likes me, guys. Like, I just don't really get a warm, because I I feel like a lot of people are either, like, really warm or they're just nothing. Mm-hmm. So if people are nothing, I'm just like, oh, I'm just not really that kind of, their cup of yeah. tea. Yeah. Which is absolutely fine. Like, everyone isn't for everyone. Cool. So I was like, yeah, I don't know if Joyce is, like, really f- with my kind of energy. And I remember we went on the same brand trip together. So yeah, we it was the, recently. Yeah, we went on the brand trip together. <laughs> Last year, we went to Kenya. Uh, with YouTube, big up YouTube every single Purr. time. And one day we were randomly having lunch with Dennis, VP from 90s Baby. Mm-hmm. And I just turned to Joyce at the lunch table and I was just like, I used to think you didn't like me, you know? <laughs> yeah, she just, she, <laughs> she was she like, just said it. She was literally like, bitch, what the f-? And I was like, no, but I've been observing you because I've just been observing, I like to just watch people. I'd been observing her on the trip and I my findings were that, okay, so she's someone that's quite reserved off the rip. Whereas I tend to be quite forward off the rip and then I might like cool down. Whereas she's really reserved. She kind of like takes the time to kind of feel out an yeah. individual, feel out a person. And you're not the only one, a few people do this. So that sometimes comes across as, oh, I don't think she likes me, but sometimes it's, I haven't made my mind up about you. And I remember Joyce saying, oh, the thing is we were never introduced. So we just see each <laughs> yeah, other, but facts. we were actually never introduced. Facts. And I'm literally, honestly, I'm one of those people, pe- believe it or not, I'm not as forward as people think. Yeah. Like if I meet you, if I'm not introduced to you, I'm sorry, it's game. I ain't say nothing. Like that's, that's, that is literally me. If someone doesn't introduce us, yeah. if you like you and you're the same, you, you'll be looking at me. I'll be looking at you. I will join in a conversation where everyone's speaking and you're yeah. speaking, but I'll just be like, oh, okay, like, it's not really that, uh, that thing. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm, it's, I, I like to gauge, and I think you're very similar to me, as in you're, you're such a cool girl, and you're such a hot babe, but you're also, you're like, you're also very like, you know what? Let if me we feel it out. Let me feel it yeah. out. You're a very feel it out person. So when you have two feel it out persons. It's just going to be felt out. We'll just be feeling yeah. out hard. Yeah. We were just feeling each other out But hard. you know what? I feel like my feeling out came off the back of being too friendly with people too soon. Yeah. And then they start moving mad. Comfortable. Or like behaving weird. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no, baby. It was never that. It was never that. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm, I'm a bit more like cautious. But yeah, that's how... Um, you have to be. But do you know yeah. what? I'm glad... Do you know what I love about that? And I think there's some people in this space that feel like they have to speak to people or they have yeah, to be friends with people. Everyone, yeah, yeah. Because 
somebody has a name yeah or so and like i said i've known you before yeah and i think there's some people in this space that they f- if if, if you're not anybody they won't speak to you that's so crazy to or me. and if you're somebody they'll speak to you yeah they'll try they'll try harder to be closer to, to you closer to you yeah of your whatever whatever so i think from there i quite like how our friendship has evolved because you know it's organic you know yeah, it's like yeah, oh no yeah, i actually yeah, f- yeah. with her yeah yeah i'm like oh yeah no she's it's cool like, she's it's, cool, yeah, right? she's yeah, cool. yeah she's cool we can cool. we can with yeah, each other yeah, we can like, hang no, out no, she's cool she's cool like yeah. literally and i and and, and and i feel like that's how it should be because i like if somebody who is not in the space or is or is not you know like somebody that is that they're still upcoming yeah. and stuff like if you're cool vibes i will oh, f- with you. Like, i can even, rock like one of my best friends candy um, oh I f- with candy yeah. i f- love candy yeah but again it started off as like oh you know we just be at like, events together and i'm mm-hmm. like this girl's and she's so refreshing because i think candy's one of the few people that doesn't and rita Oh yeah, Rita. She's someone I really like. Love, yeah. oh, love She's Rita. She's someone I really, really like. She was on the pod actually, wasn't she? She was, yeah, on, she was the on the pod. pod. Yeah, Candy's just very like refreshing in the sense of there's no mask. Yeah. Like what you see of her is what you get. And I feel like with a lot of people, understandably, like sometimes I might give you this version or that version. But Candy's like, this is her. Who I am. Take this it or leave is, it, yeah. This is her. And it's like so refreshing. Like, And I was just like, wow, this girl is so different from everyone else I've met in the industry. But yeah, love, love Candy, love Rita. No, she's fab. And again, like I feel like finding genuine friendships mm-hmm. is always hard it can be hard in it this industry be hard, because yeah. like what's people's ulterior motive behind why they're speaking to me crazy enough i feel like that only came like maybe last year for you yeah okay talk elaborate because early on in my like a lot of people just and i think beauty now has the name of being quite like all mean girlish but okay. early in the industry like People like Gary, Plastic Boy. Yes. He was like one of my first ever friends in the industry. Like a, a couple of people that we like kind of like chop it up with and are around. Everyone is just so open to being friends because it's still new. Mm-hmm. So it's like, there's not really like, there's clicks, but the clicks are mainly just like the OGs. Yeah. Whereas I feel like now people are a lot more, I don't want to say insidious, but they do think a lot more about, okay, if I'm seen with this person, it's going to put me here. And if I'm seen with that person, because brands do tend to like lump you with people they see you with. True, they, they do, do they do. Yeah, they do that, that a lot. Hard way. Yeah, they do, they do, they do. Because be, it'll be someone that you don't even f*** with anymore. Brands are talking about, oh, do you think you, you want to come for dinner? I'm like, we're not rocking together. They do, they do do that. They, they always do. always lump. Um, and even with you, I, see, I feel like I see you a lot with AP. Obviously you guys did your yeah. Afro tour together. Yeah. Um, AP and Maz, even me, like I can think of people that I would put together just based on always seeing them together. But do you know what it is with, again, th- that relationship was so organic. And I think why I will always hold AP and Maz dearly is because my trajectory was quite fast. Mm. And I feel like I remember the first time I actually ever met them was on their podcast. And they did a woman's, they did a woman's day episode where mm. they wanted to champion a smaller podcast. Oh, wow. And they that's, picked oh mine. My God, that's amazing. And it was like, okay, we have two OGs in the space yeah. who have seen me. Yeah. And they don't know who I am. Yeah. They see that I'm still quite micro. And they're like, you know what? Yeah, let's let's use our platform so, like, to highlight her up. platform. Yeah. Yeah. So they've actually seen me grow. So yeah. I hold that friendship oh, very, very, very dearly. So I that, didn't know that yeah, that friendship to me is very sincere. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, it's like when people make it to the top, mm. a lot of time they just want to hang out with the topsters. Bruh. They just want to hang out with people Bruh. that they feel is their Bruh. mates. But that moment for me was so beautiful because it's like I have two people who I, I've grown watching mm. come to me that doesn't have anything to offer at yeah, this point. Of to be like, yeah, we want to we wanna celebrate you because mm. you're doing really good things. Mm. And from there, like I, I feel like even after that podcast, mm. we didn't even come up Mm. we see each other but mm. i feel like we've allowed ourselves to organically grow but those are the friendships i value most yeah. in this space organically grown yeah. friendships but i think all those people are very um authentic oh a thousand like, percent. Super, like yeah adiola risa um candy obviously there's i want to see more that... of rita because i really like Re- her. i feel like rita's gonna have a huge year yes i think she's gonna have a huge year and she's you know she's been doing this for so Oh, I really like her. Long. I really, really like her. And she just, she's just so funny, so authentic, yeah. such a sweet person, yeah. very genuine. And I just think she's going to be amazing. Like, you know, when you can feel like someone's on the cusp of something like amazing. Amazing. I yeah. And I'm, I'm really excited yeah. for her. I, I keep saying I really like her because I don't feel like the amount of times I speak to her, yeah. how 
the amount of times I speak to her shows how much I actually really like her. Yeah, yeah. Cause, but every time I see her, I'm so, yeah. so happy to yeah. see her. She's just one of those yeah. people though. I'm so happy she's to see her. She's just so like, such always such a good time. I'm thinking such about Rita time. is like, I've had Rita around like my, my influencer friends, obviously mutual mm-hmm. friends, but then obviously like my non-influencer friends. And she's so easy. The same, yeah. She'll get along with anyone. She's great. You know, you have some people in the space that they only want to be around you if you are somebody. Oh, me and you can't you help be, them, babe. Yeah, agreed. Because I stay mixing like my, like it's not even a thing where it's like, oh, I only do stuff. Even um at the weekend, literally, I just, you, Vic, you FaceTime Victor. Yeah. We were having like a Ghana games night. Yeah. And obviously it was just whoever was in Ghana plus like, whoever's in that sort of space group. yeah anyway yeah and it was, it's a mix you can't just want to just be around people with following following that, yeah so definitely corny. it's 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 very so very weird. corny and i do see it and i think i'm i'm in the mix but i'm not in the mix for that i would say you're definitely in the mix you don't i'm not in the mix i think you're in but by the nature of who you are and like what you do yeah i have to yeah, i have, to, have be to be in the, the mix, mix but yeah. also i'm i'm a, i'm in the mix for like work yeah networking but not like socially socially i've socially i'm in the mix okay, because good. this job this so- job is social and yeah, work yeah. combined yeah of course um but i also do value people who are out of the industry i value yeah. people i value I, I can pull myself out of the socialness of the mm. of the job and see okay this is actually someone i really f- with or mm. this is someone i f- with in the space they're doing amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. but past that our friendship is it's, it's just That's it's it. just industry it. but yeah anyways enough of that uh that was too <laughs> moist for me let's go back to like being hood and real yeah yeah know? yeah yeah so yeah. we are gonna play a game in which we ask our co-hosts some qu- 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 questions what questions and this is the cultural questionnaire so uche as i ask every guest god every episode i'm scared for the past two years Oh, T.R., do you want to make an appearance so that they can... Are you smart? So they know who they're flogging. Okay. <laughs> are they... Oh, my God, ill. One of them is like... So, um, we are going to ask our co-hosts questions. Okay. This is the cultural questionnaire. Miss Uche, are you smart? I hope so. Okay, well, hope is great. <laughs> hope is hope is great. So, this is the name of the game. We have six questions. Okay. You can only give me one answer. You can't tell me... Bobby, Susie, Becky, Adam, Jumake, Tululope, Ayobayo. You can Amen. only give me one and okay. lock it in. So the name of the game is, if you get it right, I yeah. have to take one of our naughty or nice shots. If you get it wrong, you have to take one of our naughty or nice shots. Okay. Now, depending on the question, we have a good shot or a bad shot. It can fall on any. So if you get it right and I drink, it could be a good shot. Okay. It could be, but you know, it could also be a bad shot, so you just never know. I never know. Tia knows. She's always the one that's mixing the concoctions. God, okay. Are you ready to roll? I'm ready. I'm o- ready. Oki, Dokley, Bokley, Hokley. Okay. Question number one. It is a riddle. Oh, God. I'm- they come out at night without being called and are lost in the day without being stolen. What are they? Shall I repeat? I guess so. They come out at night without being called and they are lost in the day without being stolen. What are they? How many guesses do I get? Did you not hear my intro? Oh, it's just the one. Yeah. Stars. Are you going to lock that in? Yes. We're locking in stars. That is correct. Well done. <gasps> that is correct. Come on. <laughs> Your so, poker face is so good. I was like, thank you. It wasn't good enough. Come on. Oh, so you have to do a I've shot. Got to take this shot. Come on now. Are you starting here or no, here? No, the other side. That one. Oh, I can already tell. Oh, this you is can't hell. even pick. You have to. No, you pick. A, yeah, they're in order. Way. So oh, I've God. got some sort of. That looks like lemon juice. There's something floating at the bottom and it's warm. I think it's a good one though, no? I don't feel like it's good. Cause when I start seeing like condensation, it's given it means sediments. that she was in the lab boiling and mixing and shit. A ginger shot. I'm, I'm, I don't want to smell it because I'm scared. I think just do it. I'm just going to do it. Do it. Oh, fuck. Three, two, one. 
Is it ginger? Ugh. Ew. What is that? Oh. The sed- sediments. That tastes like um, what was it? mustard water. God, actually, forbid. Like, actually. Oh, my stomach is going to be so Good far. luck. Oh, ah! Good luck to Do you. Do you know what? I'm surprised you got that right. One thing about me, let me not even talk too much. Yes, you guys. Let me not talk too much. You should have, because we've got question number two. All I'm saying is, it's on. Do you get it? When I'm telling people turn it on, it's because mine is on. <laughs> <laughs> let me not talk too much, because that's going to be the first. Do you know what? Question number two. Yeah. What does the BB in BB cream stand for? Ooh. That's fascinating. I don't know that. Our favorite beauty. Remember, I introduced you as beauty experts. Because CC, I think CC is color correcting cream. BB. I've never even thought to think what it stands for. What are we locking in? This must be not to talk too much. Are you going to take a wild guess? I'm trying to do a, a logical guess. Okay. But logic isn't finding me right now. What um, is logic color telling you? Color correcting. BB. BB. Oh, I don't know. Have we not got an answer? It would appear not. So, we are locking in nothing. Wait. Pause. Yeah, go on, looking nothing. The correct answer was blemish balm. Oh, that's smart. So unfortunately, you are going to have to oh, take the that next makes so much sense. The next shot, which is this one. Mm-hmm. It looks like milk. Here you go. It does look a bit milky. It looks like banana milkshake and I'm upset. Oh, it does. It is banana milkshake. I'm so upset. Mm. Tia, what have we got for this shot? Banana milkshake. Do I have to finish it? Yeah. yeah. I'm lactose intolerant then. <laughs> Tia looks at like, me like, you lied. <laughs> Don't sue. Don't sue me. Don't sue me. Right. That one seems so obvious in hindsight. It does, right? Yeah. To be honest, I didn't know that either. That's a fun fact. And annoyingly, because there's this new foundation that I've been using from Danessa Myricks called the Blur and Balm. Okay, you could have, that could have been. Like, it didn't even, it, it didn't wasn't even touch on. you. It didn't. Also, another thing that you put me on. Yeah. The LMA's, the LMA's cleansing balm. Pause. LMA's. LMA's, the yellow one. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yes. The cleansing balms are really good. The rose one's good as well. I use the yellow one. However, it's a bit too oily for the kid. Do you have any recommendations? Um, do you know what's really good? The Fenty cleanser. W- it's like the squirty bottle. Cleanser. Yeah. Um, or the Clinique. But if you don't like Elemis, you won't like... Cl- I know, I feel like Clinique, take the day off. I got you. I'll lock that in. Yeah, lock it we'll in. We'll get back to that. Question number three. Let's go. God, let me uh, focus in. Multiple choice. Oh, perfect. How many layers is your skin made out of? A, five, B, three, C, four. I'm gonna go three. Are you locking that in? Or is it four? No, three. Yeah. You look confident. Yeah, I lock it in. Can you name the three? That's not the question. <laughs> What's the extra credit? No. <laughs> that is correct. The answer is three. I think I can name the three. Go on. Do you have it on the thing? No. It's like the epidermis. Dermis and... No way you can't actually name it. It's the dermis, <laughs> epidermis and... It's another one beginning with D, but I can't remember. I don't th- even think that's correct. It is. The dermis, epidermis, 
and Can we get a VR the, on that VAR. The, it, it's another one beginning with D. De, dermatitis. Absolutely not. That's, That's a skin not condition. Dermis, dermis, and hypodermis. Oh, That's go. not right. What? That's what he just. What is it? He just said hypodermis. Epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. See, but I said it was two D's: dermis, dermis. An epidermis. But that's wrong. That's so but wrong. But it's just hypo in the middle. Hypodermis is one. Yeah. Epidermis yeah. is two. And dermis. Yeah. Yeah, but three out of two is not. Anyways, this is not the questionnaire for me. And the thing is, you brought the headache onto your head. It's mad. <laughs> like so crazy. Just, just allow <laughs> it. Allow it. This oh, you were trying to do distraction. That looks foul. This that looks, looks absolutely bad. foul. I, I think it looks like ginger though. Give it a sniff. I don't want. I don't like to sniff it. Bef- You're right. It is ginger. Yeah, ginger. You know. So this is even good. I'd have preferred that. But why is it so like the sediment? I just want to say that obviously, like I've been on my weight loss journey. Come on now. And every morning I have turmeric and ginger shots mm. to start my day. Do you home make them? No, I buy them from Lidl. Should I home make them? It's really easy. Well, this is a homemade ginger shot right here, isn't it? They should have shook it before they finished shaking. Yeah, it they definitely should have shook it oh, before. It had time to settle. Because this is just ginger and ginger juice. The way you're stalling is crazy. So I would, this is a, Damn sh- the to be honest, this is a fave, this is a good thing for me. <laughs> um, f- me, mate. <laughs> ginger shots are nice. Ginger shots are not f- nice. Oh God, that's so spicy for no reason. Has it got apple juice in it? No, it's just ginger. Just the right. ginger and water. Oh god. Lemon? Yeah. No, you've got lemon in there. Oh my god, it's so spicy. You tried, babe. Well oh done. Ha! Huh? Right. Question number four. Let's go. It's a riddle. Oh god. Okay. What word is pronounced the same if you take away four of its five letters? Hmm. What word is pronounced the same if you take away four of its five letters? Can I have a clue? No clue? No clue? You all don't give clues? No. Do you know what? The possibilities are endless. A five letter word. What are you locking in? I'm not yet. Give me a minute. What word is pronounced the same if you take away four of its five letters? Five letters. Would you have got this if you didn't know? I think I would have got it. Oh, God. Has anyone at home got it right? Look at me. Audience interaction. Do you guys know it? That's because you know it, though. Would you have got it if you didn't know it? Right. We've got five, four, three, two... One. What are you locking in? I am locking in. Nothing. Okay, so we have got no answer. And the answer is Q. Oh, fair. Because you can spell yeah, Q, 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 U. E U E, and you can also remove four letters, and it will still say Q. Oh. So, shot I for you, my dear. Through, I should have gone through the alphabet. Not that one. Is it that one? Okay, you can do that one. This looks like lint. Fuming. I already know the next one is hell. I already know the next one is hell. How have you ended up with all the worst ones? Get a load of this guy. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's fine. No worries, you you're laughing now. Finish me, no, no, no. That's okay. This is a spell the word. Oh, come. You're good at spelling? 
Great at spelling. This confident is crazy. Let me hear the word. Okay. Question. Let me see it. N- girl, no. <laughs> S- question number four. Spell the word left tenants. Are you saying it correctly? Am That's I saying it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spell the word left tenants. Left tenants? Yeah. Is that an English word? T as an English word? Yes. How do you spell it? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is it spelled L U T E N I E N T? Is that what you are locking in? Yes. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> the correct spelling is L I E T E N A N. Go again. You spelled it wrong. Yeah. I'm <laughs> saying, I'm saying, should you be the one asking the question? That's what I'm saying. Wait. I read my documents wrong. Wait. The answer is L I. I, <laughs> I'm like, guys, Wait. it's given we should half the shot because what's going on here? L I E U T E N A N T. But isn't that lieutenant? So it's actually an English word, but Americans have changed it. You know how we say color yeah. with a U? Yeah. American has changed the spelling to, well, t- changed the pronunciation to lieutenant because that's how it's actually spelt. But the English way, the original J- way. J- J- <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, guys. We need a VAR on that. <laughs> like, what the hell is going so, on? T R, you're a villain. No, this doesn't make a single it does, villain. It does, it does, sorry, it I need the bad boys. The oh, bad the boys mic. and girls need to actually explain in the mic. Yes, give them good English. Because lesson. you're talking about American media stuff. Yeah. So, but you Americans not- have changed the way things are pronounced to meet the way it's spelt. The actual English version of this that it's spelt lieutenant it's pronounced lieutenant but it's spelt lieutenant americans have changed it to sound the way it's spelt but english people also say lieutenant yeah that's because they're wrong but hey can i just no but the point i'm making is actually landing how if all of our lives we've all said lieutenant that's the first time i was hearing that word in my life lieutenant no because if so if you watch the crown for example they would the word is lieutenant and they will say lieutenant so like the, the actual English pronunciation. The English in the dictionary, in the Bumba Clark <laughs> dictionary in the UK. Have you watched Champion? I watched it today, funny enough, yeah, for the first time. you're doing the accent. That's oh yeah, the, the yeah. Jamaican accent. West, is the, it Jamaican? The yeah, Jamaican. The struggling. It was Ian Wright's bit, innit? No, that's the kitchen, babe. Oh, sorry, never mind. Not you just send the shots for no reason, girl. Thank God you off camera, girl. You just She's just camera, saying girl. any shows with black people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, unfortunately, you didn't get that right. I would like a V. Anyway, I'm going to do the shot. <laughs> but I need you guys to in be chopping comments. up in the comments. In the comments? I feel like you should not be allowed to do that, guys. In the comments? Is it right? Anyway, this looks like chocolate milk. Okay, we drink it. Eats. <laughs> why would you do this? And why would you do it on that question? It's, that, it's like they set me up. <laughs> Oh, they did. That's why everyone's no, laughing. No, I didn't I set you say up. Joyce chooses the six questions. That was a setup, then, wasn't you it? You said she was good at spelling. Can we get a zoom on this? Why would you mix chili with milk? Lieutenant. 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 Y'all oh, heard a new word today? Lieutenant. Lieutenant. It weren't me that was drinking that. I would tell you for free. <laughs> I was Lieutenant. So you did set me up. Lieutenant. <laughs> I, I said, if this girl gets this right, then it's game. I'll drink it. But you didn't. It's okay. Just wash it back. Don't smell it. Just I don't even mind smell it. It smells like b- banana milk. So, so she mixed banana milk and through. chili. Well. Okay. So guys, how have you been? Oh Ooh. my God. <laughs> it's not even that bad actually was it not bad you can barely taste the spice it's just all banana milk are you to sure you fair, don't want to take the rest milk cancels out chili oh milk cancels out chili you, please okay fun fact milk cancels out chili oh that was an absolute breeze guys 
<sighs> I'm not glad. like the mustard concoction they had you drinking. Yeah, that was that was a lot. Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot for no. Oh, Emmanuel, we've got some wet wipes now, have we? Oh, lovely. Look at Eli look. I said Elijah. Look at Emmanuel bringing wet wipes. Oh, okay, no, final I question. A child, sorry, I had a bit of a incident. That's okay. You took it back like a real champ. You took yeah. it back like a real champ. Take note, guys. Period. That's how a mother boss is. Have you seen that TikTok? <laughs> Wait. If you want to see a mother, if you want to see a boss, you look in that one. Handle big business. Handle the big business. Yes. <laughs> Cool. Question number six. That was funny. Okay, let's. Go. I love that. that Big is, business. I love her. I like I'm interrupting. Even though we're not standing on business, apparently we're we're spinning around. The you block, are right? tiptoeing on the bit. Matter of fact, the business is standing on you. Do you know what? And the business is laying down beside you. No, honestly, guys, <laughs> am I really <laughs> spinning around the block this year? Excuse me. I know this is the questionnaire. That was that's. Someone's actually, no, I'm not, you know. Nah, he's actually trash, you know. I'm not doing don't it. Don't spin the block on no. You're meant to be standing on the business. I'm standing on business. I'm standing on business. I'm standing on business. Do you I'm know what? I'm going to take you into my academy. I'm no, taking I'm, you under you my to, wing. Yeah, you should, yeah. You I'm actually should teach me how to wing. be a toxic. I'm not toxic. I just have boundaries. Okay. There's a difference. A boundaried. Yeah. But there's one little nigga out there that don't play about me. I don't play about him. Okay. We'll get to that off camera. Yeah. Right, question number six. This is the guess the song. We're gonna end fan. Oh, let's do it. Oh, okay. it's gonna be a 0.5 second snippet. So, these are lines from the song. Okay. They're not in chrono 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 mm -hmm. chronological order. Mm -hmm. But I think you might know this one. Okay, is it Shally Poppy? No, it's not Shally Poppy. Okay, well that rules that out. It could be Shally Poppy, f you. <laughs> <laughs> she got me there. <laughs> okay, one line is, I can't stay in one place. Uh-huh. The next line is water no get enemy. God. And the next line is only you they feel my pains. <sighs> Do I have to guess the song or the artist? Both. I'm gonna tell you right now. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna get it. Only you they feel my pains. Water no get enemy. And I can't stay in one place. I'm gonna go with Omale Ghost. Are you locking that in? It's wrong, but yes. That is incorrect. Ah, uh, shock. The answer is Omale So So. That's actually a song I'm not familiar with, but I got the artist. You I love Omale. Get, you didn't get the full thing. Um, so that means I only do half. You do the other half. That's not quite how it works. How does it work? We then? don't do half points. It's either you get it or you don't get it. But Usually, to be fair, Tia is very well known to make sure the last shot is a nice one. That's like, the last one tends to be a nice one this for closing. Like I know what that is. Did they put a tablet in this? Oh, what is that? It's like one of those Barocca tablets. Is that what it is? Have a taste. It, it smells like medicine. You're poisoning me? No, I would never do that to you. I'd never oh. do that to you. She absolutely would. I would never do, do that, that to me, you. Actually. What is this? Electrolytes. <laughs> this Girl, just take the shots. Lovely. Sexy and digestible. Yeah, Kiwi and apple, vitamin water. Oh, vitamin water. See, I look at us. Something. Electrolyte. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So at the end of that game, Tia, how did we do? Not well. Two right? It's not bad. Two right is not bad. Yeah. Two right? Two and a half. No, yeah, just What's the highest half. score so far? Four. Four? four. Who got four? four? Who got four? Dummy. Dummy got four. And shits and gigs, but they don't count. Don't tell Dammy that he got four and I got two. <laughs> Never hear the end of it. Honestly, that is the end of the game. And unfortunately, that's the end of the, wow. the show. I can't believe it. But honestly, thank you so much for coming. That was such a fun conversation. That was fun. Was I feel so like good. we have more to talk about oh, off camera. Yeah. yeah but with yeah. that being said, where do we find you on the internet? Uh, you can find me everywhere. My name is uh, UCHJN across all platforms. Uche Notori, Notori on TikTok. <coughs> Makeup mother. Period. Bad gal. 
bad girl always to be honest i want to do something new i've always been signing out okay so you want me to sign out but i would love you to sign out whatever you say whatever you want to say but you have to end and we'll be back next week with another bad boy or another bad girl okay cool all right you guys so you've been here with uche notori makeup mother and of course your mother madam joyce we'll be back next week with another bad boy or bad girl See you later! Bye! <laughs>